Okay, besties, we're gonna make some guacamole. We're gonna start with a red onion. These are called red onions, but some people call them purple onions because they actually look more purple than red. We're only gonna use about half an onion. We're using our chopper that we got from Amazon. This was gifted to me from my daughter, but be very careful with this because it's extremely sharp if you get one. It's only like $15, $17 on Amazon. We're gonna use two Roma tomatoes. Look how nicely this chops it up. And this is probably way more onion and tomato than we're going to actually need. You don't have to use the red onion, but I just feel like it tastes better. But you can use whatever you'd like. Then I'm going to get four avocados. I'm going to slice them in half, take out the seeds. There you go. And once we do that, we're going to mash up the avocado. But before I do the mashing, we are going to dice up some cilantro. I'm gonna put the cilantro in before I start the mash just so I can get the good cilantro mixed in with the avocado. To me, it just helps release the flavor a little bit of the cilantro. That's just my justification in my head. That's not based on anything. <laughs> do not have to do it this way. Making guacamole is so easy. And if you buy it already in the, made in the store, it is so expensive. And I think it tastes way better when you make it at home. So I'm adding some salt and some pepper. And I'm gonna give that a good mix before I add in my tomatoes and onions. Believe it or not, just adding in the pepper, it already gives it a little bit of spiciness with the pepper and the red onions. I'm gonna add in some lime juice. I'm just gonna use half of a lime. To me, that's good enough, but you can actually add in a jalapeno. I do that sometimes, depending on who's gonna be eating it. Today, I am not. Sometimes I'll even add a little bit of spicy salsa in it if I want it to be really spicy, but this is a good base mix for guacamole. It's so good. So I have this made, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the refrigerator. I'm gonna save the rest of the onion and tomato that I have sliced up because I'm also making some tacos tonight. Putting that in the fridge and there is my taco meat in the crock pot getting nice and soft and I am making some pinto beans. These smell so good already. I'm so excited for dinner tonight.